people. It's personal between me, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, you know, you see it? Got the throwback Florida Panthers jacket on. Got the throwback Marlins jersey on. I got South Florida on my mind. I'm going back home. Our, our, our trip is coming to an end. You know, I got to spend a whole day in this airport. So I figured I use the time wisely to make some videos and catch up on some things. But um, yeah, uh, been a productive trip and I'm going back home soon. So stay tuned for all, all the content we got going back home to South Florida. But I wanted to talk about Gilberto Ramirez. You know, he had his fight last night with uh, Uniesi Gonzalez. And man, oh man, was it, a, what is it, was it a fight? It was a really good fight. It was a fight that I really enjoyed. It was a fight that the paying customers that were at the uh, AT&T Center enjoyed. And uh, a lot of the viewers enjoyed, you know, it was a really good fight between two fighters that can punch, that were willing to get in there and exchange and get in there and get into a fight. And uh, it was enjoyable. Now, I want to talk about, I'll, I'll get to Gilberto because he's the main topic of this video, but I want to I want to give some credit and I want to um, give some respect and tip my cap to the warrior from Cuba but also one of South Florida's very own, Uniesi Gonzalez, you know. Uniesi Gonzalez, uh, I've been hearing stories about him from people in South Florida about how he's been training and sparring very well and, 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 and stopping people in the gym. And I knew he was, I knew he was prepared. And, and if you watch the body language, if you, look, if you watch the weigh-ins, he had the body language and the spirit of somebody that wasn't going in there to shy away from Gilberto Ramirez. He wanted to fight. He knew that this was gonna be his last crack at glory and he gave it the best he can. Um, you know, I, I like the fact that he came out with the Vice City trunks. He had the Miami snap back in the, in the back, in the, in, the, in the locker room. You know, he, he got me on his side. I was, you know, you're not, you're, not to, you're not supposed to cheer for anybody when you're in press row. So I was, I was keeping it down, but you know, I, I was low key kind of rooting for him, but uh, it was a good fight. You know, he, he gave a good account of himself. The unfortunate thing is he ran into a fighter in Gilberto Ramirez that is heading into the prime of his career. A younger fighter, a stronger fighter, a bigger fighter. Um, but it was a good fight because Unieski was so good that he had to make Gilberto Ramirez show that extra bit of quality. He had to show some things in this fight that he hadn't shown before. And it's funny because during fight week, I was talking to a lot of people and a lot of people, you know, here in Texas, they were, they were thinking that this, this was going to kind of be like the Sullivan Barrera fight because there were some similarities to Unieski and, and Sullivan Barrera. You know, they're both not the fleetest of foot. They're both not that fast. Um, they're both on the wrong side of 30. They both train in Miami, you know, they're both Cuban. And I was trying to tell people, no, it's not gonna be one of those fights, you know, because you, because of the experience Unieski has at the top level, you know, I thought he beat Pascal. A lot of people thought he beat John Pascal. Um, he's punching a lot harder than Sullivan Barrera. Um, he's probably one of the hardest punching light heavyweights in the world. And um, funny enough, in the press conference last night when I was talking to Zordo, I asked him the question, I said, hey, uh, what do you rank uh, Uniesi Gonzalez among the biggest punches you ever, you, the biggest punches you fought in your 43 fights in the professional ranks? And uh, he told me that Unieski is right there with Arthur Abraham, a Arthur Abraham as the hardest uh, puncher he's fought. So that's a, that's a big credit to him, you know, uh, to the fight that Unieski had because if you go and watch the fight and you watched it closely, there were times where Unieski would throw the right hand, and Gilberto would take like a bit of a step back. You know, he was really hitting him with things to get his respect. And that's why Gilberto had to do a little bit more boxing to set up, to set up the, the, ultimately the knockout later in the, in the later rounds. You saw Gilberto do things we not, we're not really accustomed to seeing him doing. You saw Gilberto press him. You saw Gilberto pivoting, reverse pivoting to set up his shots. And it was great because now I feel like Gilberto in, that, in this fight, he's shown people that extra dimension about him. Um, because like when people, when people talk about the Bivol fight, even me, we talk about the fight being a, a, a matchup between a guy, one guy who's a technician and the other guy who was a seek and destroy fighter. But Gilberto showed in this fight that he can be that seek and destroy fighter, but mix the boxing skills and the footwork with the, um, the seek and destroy style he has. And it was just great. And I think, I think the performance and the fight itself was one that you, if you haven't seen it, you should go see it because it was just a good fight. Like you know, when we talk about in boxing, we want we want to see good fights. This was a good fight. It was a fight. It was a fight where you have we had one guy who was trying to get bigger fights versus a guy who was in desperation mode, knowing it's the last probably big opportunity he's gonna get in his career or one of the last big opportunities he'll get in his career. 
But um, I, I don't think it's the kind of loss that Uniyeshi can hang his hat on, uh, hang his head on. You know, he performed well. He gave a great account of himself. If he wants to continue boxing, um, I'll, I'll love to see him get in there with some guys in the lower part of the top 10, top 15. Um, I think I think there's still good fights out there for him if he wants to continue his boxing career. But um, ultimately, just a, a, a beautiful performance, from, a beautiful performance from Gilberto Ramirez. You know, the way he was placing the shots, going from the head to the body, back to the head, working his way down to the liver. Um, when he got the stoppage in the 10th round, you know, you, you, you're just seeing a lot of qualities from him. And um, Gilberto Ramirez, he's showing you the boxing skills. He's showing you the craft. He's showing you the power. He's showing you the stamina. He's showing you the resilience. He's showing you the determination in the ring. And that's probably his best quality, I would say, is, is his determination. You can hit Gilberto Ramirez with big shots. Like, like Unieski Gonzalez hit him with some big, big shots. I mean, the kind of shots he was hitting Gilberto with, I think, would have put most light heavyweights out or down at least. But Gilberto remained composed and Gilberto remained very unfazed and very determined in the pocket. So and overall, it's the kind of performance that where if you're looking at Gilberto versus Bivol, I mean, I don't know, man. I used to favor Bivol. Then, like, as I studied the tape, I was thinking it's, I was thinking it's more of a 50-50 fight. Now, I'm, I'm really starting to kind of favor Gilberto because I think Gilberto has the footwork, the pivots, and the seek and destroy style to, new, to, to, to get past the Bivol jab and, 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 and control the tempo and the pace of that fight. And if he can do that, you can beat Bivol. So uh, that's, that, that's the number one fight in boxing I want to see next year. Hopefully, we can get it. But, uh, yeah, man, with that being said, you guys, uh, let, let me know what you think. What, what did you think about Gilberto Ramirez versus uh, Unies Gonzalez? And, and, and how do you think uh, Gonzalez performed? And do you want to see him fight anybody at light heavyweight? And if so, let me know in the comments. Let me know what, after that performance, you know, like, do you think Gilberto has less or more of a chance after you guys saw that? Uh, drop your comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Dania. You know what I'm saying? Soft floor to stand up. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here boxing fans all over the world from america to the uk to australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and god bless